How are you doing and how have you been? And we're back with RimWorld, hot off the press, bossing it. We've got Sage and Sky, nothing's going to go wrong there. You know, we took refugees in just because, you know, we're nice people. You know, we haven't killed anyone or eaten anyone. So fine, we are going to mine this square out here to see what wonders are unraveled by the world. Plan is to make our stockpile a little bit bigger because we actually ain't got room for any wood. So, okay, here we go. So let's pause this, area revealed. I don't hate this and I don't love it. Now, the problem we've got is mortars. And if mortars come in at us, they can hit us. However, I don't, I don't know. <laughs> I don't hate it. I don't love it. Then I'm literally talking like it's the worst thing to ever happen. However, what we can do here is build our solar panel farm. And it's going to be relatively safe. Unless, you know, the machines airdrop on us and kill us. So I think we'll have something like that. And then behind it, we'll probably have like the battery house. And we could do something like that that will power our base. Equally, we can actually move our farm down here eventually. So I think we'll probably leave this area open. And yeah, we will get like airdropped on. I'm just going to say not to sow these currently. Because what I think we'll do is winter all the crops are going to be killed anyway. So I think that will be the perfect time to then move our growing zone here. We, you can make the argument to do that straight away. However, how I feel about it is just then that's a lot of growing zones to cover. If that makes sense. And I think that's just going to give us too much to do. It's going to overload our, our guys with what we want them to do. So they're going to prioritise that over other things. And it's just going to make me upset. I'm going to cry. You're going to think it's embarrassing. And then eventually then my demise will happen. Because Randy will see this upset nature that I am in. And he will go, I will get them. I will get them now. Some people say I overthink things. But yeah, so that will be our solar panel farm. And our farm hey. and then what we'll probably do is build our kill box here and then this will be the entrance to our mountain base and I actually think that will work out quite nice because then we will be quite deep in the mountains okay okay this has won me over I know someone in the comments said about this and actually thank you for pointing out this is I'm not going to say it turned me on 100% but at least 5% so, congratulations, you know that's what you did to me. Thank you. Okay, what we do need to do, the problem is, is we're sort of mining steel, so it's sort of filling up our stockpile before we have too much of a chance. We'll move our stockpile sooner rather than later. Actually, this worked out quite nicely. So we're really going to start off with one solar panel because I don't think we need like 19 to start off with. We do need to have a look around the map for more components. Because we're going to go through them as quickly as Michael Jackson went through all the kids that he had. If you don't know, it's a lot. It's a lot. More than one or two. Is that liable? Alleged. Alleged. Yeah, they're all the ones that I can see at the moment. The thing is, if we keep Sage and Sky happy, which we have potential to, because actually we have a nice base. Okay, so let, let's actually... Are we building another statue? We are. That's really, really good. Because then we can put a statue in here and just make that room a little bit more pretty. 
because we do have the potential if we keep them happy to actually keep them so we could go from three colonists to five very quickly and while they're not the perfect colonists i'll take them because they're not bad and sometimes i'm a bit of a snob around colonists like i only want the best and sometimes you want even average people just to do like medial tasks like the royalty you need the peasants to do the cleaning and stuff you know you can't expect me to do that i need the peasants to do that i think this space is like the best thing i've ever done i shouldn't really start like that because i always say it's like oh it's, it's the best space i've ever made and then i die like five episodes later Okay, we'll start with three batteries, but we have the potential to fill in all of them. But I think three is probably, it's probably OTT anyway, over the top. But I think if I didn't go over the top, it wouldn't be me, let's be honest. And we'll do that. So then we've actually got power, huzzah. Uh, major break risk. Let's pause it and have a look. So sky... Dull Barrack, you're insulted. Who did you get insulted by? Doesn't say you're sweaty, ratty appear. Okay. So getting a statue in the bedroom would be really, really nice. Uh, can we haul that so then we can have another stockpile space? So who is in charge of building the art? Mick is. So let's take Mick off mining and let's push up art up to two. So when he's not growing, he will make art. So let's get that done because if we can keep these two people happy. Well, I don't know how they. I don't know how the game. What's the word I'm looking for? Calculates. Like if I keep him happy, like if they have a breakdown, is that like that's shut down? Like they've shut our butt down? as the great Tarantino once said? Or is it like they have to have a period of three days straight where they're like over happy or their average on their stay needs to be this? Answers in a postcard. See, look, it's these new colonists. They've come in, they've eaten our food and now they're being miserable. Oh, I want a nicer, bigger bedroom. You're lucky you're not sleeping outside with the dead llama corpse. Saying that, the corpse actually got used. Huzzah. Huzzah, huzzah. I would never be a pirate. Yeah, I actually really like this area. It's really won me over. We'll have to plan our mountain base, which I love mountain bases. Oh, that wasn't me. Um, some alpaca, alpaca. <laughs> some alpaca meat has um, rotted in our storage, which is actually makes me depressed. So let's reinstall that here so that we can keep this room really happy. This might actually be a good chance to like... Oh, oh some sky has gone berserk. Men, arm yourselves. Mick, run. Van, we may need backup. We may need backup. Mick, run, you fool. No, fire at him. Blow his brain off. <laughs> Kill him. Boom, baby. Sky's berserk rage has come to an end. I wonder why, everyone. Now, this is the part where we eat him. No, no, no. That was another playthrough. Um, we just rescue. Do you reckon he'll want to, like, stay in our colony after this? I don't know. Or oh, what we do want to do is a great point, as us to call. God, your brain is t intelligent. I just wanted to make sure that he wasn't going to use our good medicine. Uh, it's not letting me click on him. Yeah. It's not letting me click on him, and I wonder if it's just because he's just being rescued at the moment. But we want to make sure we're not wasting that good medicine. He came at us. 
Well, I don't think he'd be able to take me to court over that. Yeah, Mick, you need to... Who's that doctor? Van. Van, there's been a terrible accident and Sky, the refugee that we're helping... Bear in mind we're helping him because he has no food. He came here for help. Then he goes on to a murderous rampage. Yeah, I put the word murderous in there. You saw it. He came at us. There's a stand your ground rule. I saw it on Facebook. It works. Mick has nothing to do. Well, build some more art, Mick. Show the world what you're capable of. I don't believe what your mum said about you. You can make it in this callous lands. I'm just saying words and putting them together now. My well, sky is no longer incapable of walking. <laughs> I feel after I shot him down, I should have just like whistled and walked away. <laughs> Nothing to see here. But yeah, we are going to have to plan out our mountain base. I think it will be nice to go here. Because actually we could mine a big chunk of this out. And we could have like our entrance here. But what I'm thinking is we could have some gun turrets here. So that if anything does airdrop in, we've got gun turrets here straight away. Because that will happen. That is the only risk I've got of this little place. Because kill box here, which will be something like this. And this will be more for infestations. Then we'll have another kill box here. Like, I don't know why I just put a random box there. Um, but another kill box here. Smithing is done. Lovely. We're actually shooting through this. Now we want to do machining. And then we can get our mortars down really, really quick. The next problem is going to be actually making the mortars themselves. But if we can cheer Sky up, so it's like, hi Sky, you know, remember us? We shot you to near death. Do you want to join us? Well, let's be honest, that's... That should be a Hallmark card. Sorry I shot you. I bet that would sell well in America. Sorry I shot you. Do you still like me? Doesn't have the same ring to it that other Hallmark cards do. I'm going to have to copyright that idea. I feel like there is a plan there. Sorry your kids got shot up at your school. That's probably too far. That's probably too far. Sorry I shot up your kid. No, that is too far. That is too far. Temporary workers. She's asking you to lend one colonist to serve her for nine days. We could get hyperweave from it. Problem is we're not really going to use it now. Could send Sky off. We shot you and now we're just sending you away for nine days. I actually don't hate that idea, but no, we're going to keep everyone back. We're going to make sure we sort our own base out. I'll probably plan the kill box and everything off camera. And then when I come back, I'll be like, look at this sexy stuff. You guys will clap. There might be some tears, champagne bottles popping. Because you'll be like, I've never heard such great ideas. And I know it is hard hearing me, you know, for the first time. Because it's just too much knowledge. Okay, we did another statue, which is actually really tasty. I don't think we'll put it down for the time being. It's probably time to build another kitchen slash freezer room. The problem is, is we could actually build. Could just build that into a freezer, but I don't like that idea. Let's make the stockpile a little bit bigger. We do risk the wrath of the Randy God. Because we could get hit with an infestation. But I'm not too bothered. I would be bothered. I'm totally lying. It's easy to say you're not bothered when it's not, you know, a game-breaking, not game-breaking, but a colony-ending thing could happen. 
I don't know. I don't think Randy's that mean. It's not like he's random or anything. There we go. So we got our first manhunting... A pack of manhunting Yorkshire Terriers have entered the area. Jesus, that, that scared me reading that. So let's get everyone in under attack so that no one goes for a wandery wandery. And we're safe behind our wall of traps. This is why Trump wanted to build a wall. See, where he went wrong is he should have built an opening in the wall to be like, come in everyone, and then behind it just like traps like saw. So then you don't, you know, and be like, oh no, it's happened again. Whoopsie. I think that would have worked better. I don't, I don't know how you put that into your campaign speech, though. Like, it's good. you're going to have to do that very subtly. Like, let's make America great again. We're going to give money to everyone. Uh, we're going to build an opening in the wall. And if anyone comes through, we're going to kill them. Um, but it's Jeff's birthday. So can we wish, you know, and you're going to have to be quite subtle. Like, what did you say about the opening of the wall? No, come on, we're singing Jeff happy birthday. Do you see what I mean? It's like you, you'd be like, oh yeah, now I'm the one. Now I'm the one in the wrong. I feel like I could be a campaign manager. I think it's an easy job though, a campaign manager. I'd be like, well, I didn't say the, the stuff he says. Don't know, I think I'd get fired pretty quickly. The power would go to my head. And I don't even have any power. <laughs> Look at the power I've got on this colony has gone to my head. Mick, why... Right, plant cut if you're really that bored and... Ooh, actually, let's get R up, that up, and then... I want Miney to really be bottom of the barrel for you, but he keeps, like, getting to the point where he's so bored. And I want to make sure he's doing stuff. But yeah, really, really happy with this area. We've got electric up and running. And then we'll have our solar panel farm, which will be nice and nice and tasty. To be fair, if we we're building into the mountains, it would have probably been better to build our battery room down here. But that's fine, because if they airdrop in, they'll airdrop in here. And I don't think the AI will be intelligent enough to actually come up and attack all the power. Hmm. I'm not confident now. That's fine. We'll fix that problem when we get there. What could be the worst to happen if we lose all our power in the middle of a gunfight where we need all our, you know, automated guns to kill things? Well, you know, what could be the worst that could happen? Okay, what we will do is we will mine this big bit out here. Uh, remove them plans. So then we've got that area done, ready, also mine this little bit out here just in case it is blocking any of the solar panels which i don't think it would be but i want to be sure let's haul all this out like stone blocks we're doing really really well colonists are gathering to celebrate mick and van's marriage well i don't approve i think you should be working there should be no time for love i should ban love in my colony like, we have dead carcasses of llamas if you want love. I just want you guys to work. Five minutes with a llama carcass and it will rock your world. Mainly because maggots will get all over you so then you'll be ill so you will never want to do it again. But it will rock your world, just not for the reasons you think. I'm not going to put that on the open leaflet to like, oh, join my, join my colony, we've got... Llama things you can make love to. <laughs> make love to our llamas. The Tazastic way. <laughs> oh, I'm gone. I'm gone. 
And because we put the be- the beer to keep it cold in the llamas while you're while you're caressing the dead la- the dead llama on the floor, you can have a beer. I feel like I need some artwork done for that. There's an idea there. I just need to like. I suppose we could hose the llamas down every now and then with the beer. Great ideas, guys. Great ideas. I think that's the best thing about this. Like, when you record, you can really see the mind of the person that records as they just have to, you know, talk. Genius pops to mind. Genius. All right, let's make sure our stockpile actually has room. We do need to get some more wood. So there, we've actually got quite a lot. But I always like having like a thousand... I'm trying to mine the wood. Whoops. Yeah, cut all that down. That's absolutely lovely. Bit concerned. We are going to have to really start stockpiling food. And we're really not doing that at the moment. We might have to make a makeshift freezer. Because we have the option, we could turn our main stockpile into a, f um, a freezer and just do that for the time being. So I think realistically the first winter we're probably not going to start to... The problem is, is you have to balance going into the mountain but not doing it too slow and not doing it too quick. Because if you do it too quick, then obviously the stuff that we're doing now isn't going to work. We want the freezer close to the kitchen otherwise I could make the argument for putting it there okay let's make a makeshift freezer and if it gets infested then I'm blaming you guys the apprehensiveness Ooh. okay yeah and I'll blame you guys then if we get an infestation so that'll make me feel a little bit happier um and then, actually, if we build it, where's the mine tool? If we build it like that, then that could be where we put the cooler. Yeah, then it turns into something that I really don't want it to be, where it's massive. Okay, so I think that sums up our answer, where we're going to turn the main stockpile into a freezer in itself. So let's make it two by two, hurrah, hurrah. And then if we go temperature, and then let's put two coolers in to see how they do. We do have to bring a big old power line down all this way. And it is mahusive, but size does matter. And I think that should be cool. And then what we'll do is... Like I said, I don't want to overload everyone all at once. So then what we'll do is remove the old torches to put proper um, lamps in and whatnot. And we're moving out of the Stone Age into the Electric Age. Into the Mess About Age. Look at this. Look at these. these. These are champs, aren't they? They do as they're told. God, I'm good to these people. Sky is going to have another breakdown. What's wrong with you? He's tired. Everything is so slow and boring, especially me. So he wants some drugs. Oh, he's a night owl. How did I miss that? I blame him. He should have told me. So we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if he goes to sleep at nine, three, six, seven, eight. Wakes up at four. That doesn't really seem like a night owl though. So if we do 11. So it's one, two, three, six, seven, eight. That seems a little bit better for a night owl. Who knows? Yeah, but I don't really know how I missed that. I thought I like checked him over, but it obviously just went straight over my head. 
which is, you know, I know I can see you already. That's not like you, Taz. That's cool. What's wrong? You're all over this game. And yeah, sometimes you let yourselves down. But a free starting colonist, look how happy they are. They are pretty happy. They are thrilled with life. Yeah, now stockpile is lovely now. Um, we do have, so let's see. Now this is a big space to try and get cold, so it's going to be really interesting. So you just hover your mouse over it, then it tells you on the left hand side. Basically we want it under zero. And yeah, yeah, no, we can do it. For some reason I just thought we would have needed more, but that's absolutely fine. So yes, it's not the best idea, but it's going to have to do for now. Which is pretty much the catchphrase of this series. I think it's okay. It's going to be the next step is obviously starting into the mountain. We're going to have to make sure we've got enough food. But the great thing about actually having freezers up now is we can kill all the wildlife dead. So like four gazelles just dead, just slaughtered. So yeah, we should actually be quite tasty for the winter. And I don't, I only think there's like 20 or so days that we can't grow. So it's not like mental as some winters are. Our winter isn't going to be crazy. But then that gives us a good opportunity to get rid of all this, keeping everything inside the base and safe. So basically we're going to live like I did in my teenage years where I stay in, stay to myself apart from coming out to get food. I'm just admiring the amaze, the amazingness of my base. I think it looks quite cool. Way more research done. Um, so, so we need to get gunsmithing, which we can make guns, which would be nice. Eclipse, that's absolutely fine. Luckily, we've got some batteries all stored up to the max, which is actually quite nice. We might not need as many solar panels as we, um, as we have here. But I suppose that gives us the opportunities to having two battery rooms. If we're producing so much, um, where have we... Oh, cool, we get our oh, machinery. Nice, nice, nice. Need some more of that. So then they've got 33 components, but components you shoot for, especially when you start making guns and whatnot. I can't remember how many you need for each, but it's quite a lot. And especially our plans is to make Gun City. Welcome to the gun show. But yeah, so we can have a battery room up here and we can have a separate one. And then if we build the power lines like in a circle even if there's a cut somewhere you know one of them breaks the circuit will continue to get power and that's what i really like so then you just sort of makes you a little bit safer in case something happens that you don't keep an eye on and yeah i think as everyone goes to bed this is a perfect place if you got to this point of the video, leave a like, leave a sub, leave a comment, and I'll catch you in the next time, party people. As I'm doing my stockpile. Bye.